And new at 10, the community is still reeling tonight after Wade's death, and they're also on edge. CBS 2's Jermon Terry was at a wake for the young boy in Bridgeview. Prayers echoed at the mosque in Bridgeview. Hours earlier, the community paused to remember six-year-old Wade Afuyume. This was a six-year-old child stabbed 26 times at his own home. As evening prayer came to a close, one by one, mourners made their way to a nearby gymnasium where Wade's father greeted them with handshakes and hugs. Monday, he spoke about his son's murder. What has happened to me didn't just happen to me. My son is a martyr. Wadi's murder and the stabbing of his mother leave so many Palestinian Muslims fearful. It is a hate crime. They were targeted solely for two reasons, the Palestinian and the Muslim. Hatem Saloon says the hate and threats are so bad, he's requested his mother stay indoors. And tell her, do not, if you're going to go out shopping, if you're, if you're, if you're going to go out, for any reason, do not go by yourself. I'm going to come with you and make sure you're safe. But the killing of this child has so many questioning who is really safe. It's not just my mother, it's my whole family too. Congressman Jonathan Jackson made it a point to come and support. Uh, this was an act of terror on our own shores, the mutilation, the killing of a child. He's encouraging everyone to know the difference between the terrorist group Hamas and those simply practicing the Muslim religion. Hamas is not the Palestinian people and the two have to be separated. And as the community continues to wrap their arms around Wadi's father and family, those here in the Muslim faith are hoping that the world will do the same. Reporting in Bridgeview, Jermont Terry, CBS2 News.